Panther chameleons hail from Madagascar, but contrary to widespread belief, these reptiles do not change colour to match their environment. Stick around to find out the real reason why chameleons change colour, and the story behind why this chameleon symbolises intelligence for the tribes of Madagascar. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and without further ado, let's get right into it. Georges Cuvier was the man to first discover the panther chameleon back in 1829, whilst he was on an expedition to Madagascar. Georges Cuvier was a conservationist and the founder of the scientific field of paleontology. The panther chameleon was named after the black markings on its body, which resembled the spots of a panther. Both parts of their scientific name refer to the panther chameleon's appearance. There are only 22 species in the genus Versifer, which means forked and relates to the formation of their clawed foot, with their five toes split and fused into two groups. The clawed shape of the foot allows them to grip the branches of the trees in their habitat. The species named Pardalis translates as spotted like a panther, and is thought to refer to their black markings. Panther chameleons have a variety of different locales, each of its own coloration. Currently, around seven locales are commonly identified, each entirely distinct from the next. The colouring of a panther chameleon can range from bright blue to green to orange to red, with a variety of different patterns including spotting and striping. The chameleon can use its tail to grasp onto branches almost like a fifth hand. This is a capability termed as having a prehensile tail. Chameleons are not the only species to be able to do this, as they share the ability with a variety of species including monkeys and other lizards. The prehensile tail allows them to hang from the branches using the tail alone, which acts as a security policy when you live in the trees. Compared to other chameleons, panther chameleons are quite large, the males reaching about 17 inches in length on average, but the females are only approximately half this size, and will generally be duller in their coloration. The difference between the sexes is termed as the species being sexually dimorphic. The ability for chameleons to change colour comes from nanocrystals in their skin that reflect light. The colour we see is dependent on the wavelength of light these crystals reflect. By changing the density of these crystals within each cell, the chameleon can alter which wavelengths of light are reflected and therefore the colour they appear. They may alter the density of these crystals dependent on light intensity, temperature or their mood, potentially using their colour changing ability to intimidate rival males. When the chameleon is relaxed, the status of nanocrystals in the cells stretch and blue and green wavelengths are reflected, and if the chameleon is excited, the lattice loosens, resulting in red and yellow wavelengths being reflected. This process can be done incredibly quickly, and the chameleon can change colour in a matter of minutes. Panther chameleons also have precise vision, and have the ability to spot the small insects that make up their diet from about 30 feet away, and their conical eyes can rotate freely, with each eyeball being able to focus on separate objects. They also have unique eyes in the fact that the upper and lower eyelids are joined together, with only a small opening which allows the pupil to see through. To catch their insect dinner at such a large distance, the chameleons need a very long tongue, a chameleon's tongue can be longer than their body length, and has elastic tissue which when contracted and then relaxed will shoot forward. The prey is then captured on a mucus covered suction cup at the tip of the tongue and drawn back into the chameleon's mouth. Sometimes insects may not suffice when a panther chameleon is particularly hungry, as they may turn their attention to not only small birds but also other reptiles. If you enjoyed this video so far, remember to like and subscribe as I upload videos regularly with a new species or concept every single episode. Panther chameleons are native to the coastal rainforests in the northern regions of Madagascar. Their favourite habitat are the secondary habitats created by plantations and degraded scrub. These chameleons live closer to the forest floor than other chameleon species, often being found in the foliage of small trees in tropical rainforests. They are found in elevations up to 950 metres but can be found at elevations as low as 80 metres. However, they are an invasive species to two of Madagascar's neighbours, Réunion and Mauritius. The chameleons live up to two years in the wild, with males usually outliving the females who have to spend energy on producing anywhere from 10 to 40 eggs per clutch. In captivity, this lifespan may be doubled, as sometimes males can reach the grand age of five. A female may lay between five and eight clutches in her lifetime, but would not generally live longer than two years after she lays her final clutch. During the rainy season, which is October to March in Madagascar, panda chameleons turn their attention to breeding. It is unknown why exactly panther chameleons are triggered to breed by the rainy season, but theories include the day length or the change in weather. During this period, the male will fiercely defend a territory from other males. Male panther chameleons are very territorial, and are known for their loud and colourful displays of aggressive behaviour when they are threatened. Territorial displays will begin with both males changing colour and inflating their bodies. At this stage, the competition may end as one male realises that he is unlikely to win a physical fight. The surrendering male will leave the fight by darkening his skin and simply backing away. Having fought off the challenger, the male wins the right to mate. 
when a female enters this territory, he will approach her, nodding and with his skin turning intense colours. However, if she is carrying eggs, she will turn dark to signal her unwillingness to breed. If she accepts his advances, it will be three to six weeks before she lays her clutch in a 10 centimetre deep nest that she digs. After laying her eggs, she will trample the nest to press the soil down onto the eggs. She will then gather a variety of materials such as sticks, grass and dry leaves. It may take an entire day for this process and 6 to 12 months later the tiny hatchlings will find their way to the surface. After chameleons reach 5 months of age, they will be able to breed for themselves and continue the cycle of life. The species is ranked as least concerned by the IUCN as they don't face many threats from humans in the wild. It's well known they are popular in the pet trade, and this may pose a danger in the future, but with them breeding well in captivity, it is unlikely this will become a serious threat. They are, however, at the bottom of the food chain, and are preyed upon by snakes, birds, and sometimes even monkeys. Some tribes in Madagascar believe the chameleon is a symbol of intelligence, and there is a story behind this belief. Similar to the story of the tortoise and the hare, there was a battle between the bush pig and the chameleon to see who was the strongest. The chameleon beat the bush pig in the race by jumping onto the pig's neck and proved intellectual capacity can beat physical strength. However, this belief does not spread to all chameleons, as dwarf chameleons in the genus Procesia are often considered to be evil spirits. This has led to some of the local people being too scared to harm or touch these chameleons as they believe it will result in bad things happening to them. So that's all for today's species profile. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed watching and click the notification bell if you'd like to be notified when the next episode is uploaded.